in the participants panel and we will uh, we will start taking questions. All right, go ahead, Randy. Randy. Sorry, my bad. Um, okay. okay, I'm just curious, how did Solo's body react after playing however many minutes he played on Tuesday night? And I know you guys didn't practice yesterday, but I, I presume you you saw him. How did it, how did it react? Man, I think it was good. Uh, he's supposed to come over here. We're about to practice here at 2.30, um, and he's going to get over here a little bit earlier and, and get some shots up um, with one of the coaches. And so, um, you know, I think he was good. He ended up – I thought he played more minutes, honestly, than I thought he'd be able to. I think he played 29. I was kind of game planning on 15 to 20, but, you know, we needed his presence inside, and I thought he did well. What are you expecting out of him then on Saturday? Uh, hopefully same kind of performance you know we're going to need him you know they've got uh you know they got three guys they'll throw at the five you know with Kuat, it's got size manic uh brings versatility and skill there and then uh you know a walk uh as well and so uh the way they defend ball screens we got to be able to throw the ball inside and so he gives us a presence and, and we got to make sure we establish him down low all right thanks steve i'll see you on saturday okay go ahead travis Hey, Steve, I know we talked a little bit about it after Tuesday, but I was curious after you watched the film, what you thought of uh, Jaden at the point for those stretches? Man, I thought he did a good job. You know, um, you look at the six turnovers, um, you know, he's young and it's going to happen. And a lot of them were unforced. He just, you know, decision making has got to be a little bit better, get his pass on point a little bit better, you know, with some of the post feeds. But um, I thought that stretch, he did a good job. You know, West Virginia was kind of in a little funky zone and we were able to just kind of spread the floor and run ball screen offense. And, you know, he had a nice pull-up jump shot and, you know, six assists, six rebounds and played 35 minutes. Thought he did a, did a lot of good things. And as he gets older and gets more experience, you know, the turnovers will definitely come down. You know, Ross still probably going to be at 35 minutes a night for the rest of the year, but do you see Jaden getting more time at the one either in – uh, spelling him or when they're both on the floor? Yeah, we'd like to because uh, we need to get him some experience at that position, you know, and learn to play that. That's that's going to be important going forward um, from his standpoint. You know, he's got versatility and skill and can make good decisions. And so we, we need to get him there. And especially now that we're getting more confidence, I think he's played well over the last couple of weeks. Is that his long-term position, you think? I think it's a possibility. Uh, I think you look at the way we play, you know, it's kind of like you go back to Tyrese, you know, as a freshman, he just was a guard. Um, yeah. I think, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we just, we want ball guards, you know, guys that can dribble, pass, shoot, make decisions uh, and, and not pinpoint anybody anywhere. But uh, I think right now, um, you know, when you look at the, you know, our, our backcourt, I think he's the one guy that, that we need to, you know, see play there and, and put him in position to be successful for sure. But I think he's got a lot of versatility to play a lot of different positions on the perimeter for sure. His size and length, I mean, if he is able to play point guard, I mean, what does that, you know, bring? Obviously, we saw it with Tyrese, you know, with that size and length can make a big difference. Yeah, you just have the ability to see over people. You know, when you play with a big guard, you can see over people, make decisions. Um, but I think it's about putting them in position to be successful. And so right now it's more – you know, you, you look at how you try to make Tyrese successful as a freshman is getting him on ball reversal and driving back closeouts. And I think you saw Jaden really knife the defense early in the first half and get an and one against West Virginia. We need him to do more of that. And he can do that more when the ball's coming to him rather than when he's initiating things, you know, right now. And so I think that's the biggest thing that I'm that I want to try to help him with going forward is, you know, be able to play on the ball, off the ball, um, help him with his decision making and then, you know, perimeter shooting and things. I think that's more for, you know, as we get into spring and summer. Did the year playing off the ball for Tyrese help him at all? Or was, I mean, was he destined to be what he was going to be regardless as we saw this week for the Kings? Uh, yeah. I mean, he, uh, he was great last night, you know, from, yeah. from a little bit of the game. Uh, and I, I haven't watched them enough to know, is he playing a point? I mean, they got De'Aaron Fox or, you know, yeah. like, I don't think it matters. I think guys that where it doesn't really matter, it's just, hey, coach, put me out there uh, because the system fits. Um, he's going to he's gonna blend in perfectly. And I think he did that here and he's done it in Sacramento. And so, um, you know, obviously he was a lot more ball ball dominant point guard, you know, as a, yeah. as a here. 
Thank you. Matt Balanson, go ahead. Steve, I know we came into this year, obviously Solo was uh, projected to get a majority of those minutes in the post. And, you know, obviously with Xavier going down, you know, we all were expecting, and you yourself was expecting a lot from George. I'm just curious. I know that Solo, you know, was coming into this year expected to be a big player in the post. I'm just curious with his return slowly to action. Does that change anything for what you want to see from George, what you expect to see from George, or is it pretty much the same? Uh, we need George to be who he was when he was really successful and had great moments and great, uh, you know, great games here for us. You know, we need energy. We need activity. We need to protect the basket. We need to rebound, defend, and then we need to finish, you know, and pick and roll. He's got great hands. We need to finish around the basket. Uh, nothing's changed. You know, we need the same things from him. Um, you know, you got to have two guys at that position for sure that can play and be successful. And so we just got to get him playing with more confidence. I don't know if you had listened to the press conference we had with him last week. He, he mentioned um, himself that he noticed that he's had a little bit less energy than usual um, during this season. I'm just, I know obviously he, you maybe can't speak for him, but I mean, have you noticed that at all? Is there anything that you can attribute that to that he would mention something like that? I, I don't, I can't, I can't, you know, speak on, on that. You know, I don't, I don't know what he, I can't speak on that. I mean, that's, a, that's a, you put me in a tough spot cause I'm not, I don't know what he's, you know, uh, we need we need to play better. You know, we need to play better and playing better gets you confidence, uh, gets you a little bit more ramped up, gets you more excited. Uh, we, we just need to play better, but we need to help him get, you know, play with more confidence. And uh, he's been in the gym, like I said, every day the last two weeks and uh, trying to regain that confidence. I know you said after Tuesday, this is the last one for me. Uh, I know you said after Tuesday's uh, loss that you were possibly expecting to see Javen on Saturday in some role. Have you have any update on what he might? Yeah, do? I think so far so good. So I would expect Javen to play Saturday. Randy, go ahead. Steve, I got one more. What yeah. missing, or or at least having a disrupted summer program, and a, at least having a disrupted fall program. Um, how could, if everything was the same as it's been forever prior to, what kind of changes could that have, have, what could that have meant for this team? What would that have meant for this team? I mean, you can always, we could, we could, we could talk a lot of scenarios. Uh, you know, that's, this is the landscape we're dealing with this year. And so it's unfortunate. Uh, it does affect a lot of different things, especially when you have, youth and inexperience uh, and you have to, um, you know, establish, you know what I mean? Some things, whether it's defensively, offensively. And, and so you get a little bit behind, but everybody's dealing with the same things. And so we just, we've got to do it better and we got to continue to grow and focus on how we can finish February and get better the right way and then move on into March. But I think it's affected everybody when you talk about youth and inexperienced teams uh, just having their summers taken away and even the way they had to train in the fall. Yeah, see, I agree. It, it affects everybody, but but I think it affected you guys maybe worse than a lot of teams. You had seven new guys, seven guys that haven't played in Hilton before to try to to get together chemistry wise. Has this has this group come together? You know, I and I noticed on the, the sidelines whatever night that was, the guys were, the guys, the starters sitting down, obviously, and the reserves were standing behind them with the managers and everybody was arm in arm. And I'd not noticed that before. That was, that was, to me, that was, that was kind of cool. These guys look together, but um, are practices back to what you thought they could be right now? Well, they're getting there. I, it's hard to be honest because we finally got the full roster back, but now we're going to play seven games in 15 days. And so practice has got to be a little bit different. You just can't play a game, practice hard, play a game, practice hard, play a game, practice hard. I don't think you're giving your kids the best opportunity to be successful there. And so you got to balance that uh, from that standpoint. But our guys have been resilient. Our guys have done a phenomenal job of staying a course, you know, like I touched on. You know, up until the last week, we hadn't had a positive COVID test in September. Um, you know, we we were terrific in that regard. Um, we've been through some adversity. We've been through some tough times. We've lost some tough games. Um, but we got to focus on what we got to do to get better. And, you know, we've always figured out ways to get it done and got and gotten better and figured it out. And, and that's our game plan going forward. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Randy.
Michael, go ahead. I've got a, another Jaden question for you. I think earlier this season, maybe been before the start of the season, you said you wanted to make sure you put Jaden in a good position to have success. I'm just curious how you feel like you've done with that so far and kind of just how he's done so far through what halfway through his first season. Just overall, Jaden. Yeah. 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 I think he's done a good job. I mean, you know, he came back, he hadn't, when he started practicing in October, he hadn't played since February. Um, and so that was a huge learning curve. And then, you know, practices uh, obviously were a little different. He had to work his way in there. Um, I think his, you know, playing times been a little bit up and down, you know, as a freshman, but that, that can happen. Uh, but I think over the last couple of weeks, I think he's starting to get more comfortable. Uh, he's been in the gym a lot more. Uh, and I think he's got, when you look at him, he's got a very, very high upside if he if he's committed to the process of getting better every day. Um, you know, I thought he showed some really good good moments the last couple of games. And then with Oklahoma, um, obviously they're playing as well as just about anybody in the country. But what kind of challenge are they going to pose for you guys on Saturday? Well, they can really score. They've got great guards. They play four guards, four ball guards, you know, like we'd like to say. And they spread you out and um, they can really make good decisions and make shots. And, they, and they're tough. You know, they've got great, great toughness and uh, they're defending you. Um, Coach Kruger's done a great job with this group, but it's a great opportunity for us to go on the road, a place we've been successful at and won some good games and close games um, over the years. You know, we've had success against Oklahoma. And so, we got to go in there with the right mindset with a great opportunity to beat a top 10 team on the road. Thank you. All right. Looks like that's all we have for today. Thank you, coach. And thank you everyone for.